Yo, yo, yo. We had $250,000 for our benefit. Doesn't mean we have to spend it at Galpin or any of their dealerships. They do have a... Uh, now, I was thinking of the uh, IKEA. It's a four-door. It's a... Uh, fuck, it's right there with the M3 and shit. Mm. Quattrofolio. Those are... 78,000 the SUV, 79,000, but not our cost, 60,000 our cost because I have it off for Merrill's an old friend from Exotic Promotions. That's five plus years of our history. We also have all dealerships of Rustnik. There's 32 dealerships there. I think the highest dealership there is Rolls Royce. Uh, they have Maserati. Um, and too fucking crazy. We can go to Lincoln, those mid-sized SUVs, the smallest SUV that Lincoln just came out with. We get four of those, or five of those. We stay within 30 grand, 35 grand, and it's, we get eight of those, or seven, probably seven. We'll have to have we'll have to negative one for license insurance and all that. We're not paying for anything. We're not paying for our gas either. You can drive as much as you fucking want to. We we don't have a budget. That's in care of their costs. That's the fleet thing. We're gonna fall into their fleet shit. We'll never own the vehicles, but we'll do whatever the fuck we want to. And Galpin Auto Sports, well. They'll reverse anything they do for us or not, or take the hit and sell it as a used car or whatever. They're not taking a hit regardless. They're positive over $100 million. Uh, <laughs> if I push the issue, we can get $5 million or a benefit. Um, they're already scared. So, <sighs> hmm. They say 250000 I could have sworn I said 50000 per failure. They're at four, so that's first one's free. So that's additional 150000 250000 plus 150. My math is 400000 But I did say a new Aston Martin at the third fuck-up. So that was one fuck-up prior to this fuck-up. So now we're at two Aston Martins, so that's 360000 per Aston Martin. So that puts us a little over 740000 on our end as far as vehicles go. If we want to push, you should be a dick about it. I'm looking at Aston Martin. There's one for 130, and one for 150 or 160. <sighs> but that's only two of the fleet. We don't have any costs on our end, insurance, gas, or tax license. Everything's gonna fall into their fleet shit. So it's better for them because it's a tax write off for them. Remember, we're subcontractors, so we can do whatever. We have basically, we don't have a budget. We have unlimited money. We have unlimited range or uh, territory. We have LA, Beverly Hills, Ben <sighs> I want it. AGX is what DDE was at, but then he's fighting with. Where the fuck the owner of AGX is? I can't think of his name right now. Houston knows all, all these people. I know DD from prior things. Brian's still working with him. He's rallying the troops. I mean, they're. I mean, I'm into my YouTube and I see what's coming. I mean, it's there. So, I, I ain't even at the goddamn uh, level to start making monetization, but that's already. I mean. <sighs> They're already saying this is going away on this date. Congratulations for not even getting close. But even if we're close, we're taking it away on this date. So, fuck. I can just imagine everybody's freaking out. I haven't seen any content yet where they're talking about it. They don't want to scare their audience away. They want to make every fucking penny they can. And then they'll start bitching. I, that's with my, my mindset. What do you think? Am I on the right trail? 
What is everybody saying within the groups? That's what I need to know. Keep pushing the uh, shit out there. Every person that signed up with their uh, information and shit, just let them know ahead of time it's a thousand dollars to fucking start, period. And that's a gift. Um, I want to go a little heavier. I want to go two grand. These people are, uh, if they're 300,000 plus subscribers, they're making well over fifteen, twenty thousand dollars per month currently. Wow. I don't even know. That's a guess. Of course, there's thirteen times that money that YouTube's not giving them. <sighs> it's all treacherous and fucking dirty. I don't see a plate a way around mobile, period, since they own everything. They own all the fucking towers and networks and sub networks underneath everything. Once I started doing the research, and it's like, oh, fuck. No wonder your cell phone just dropped half. That's right, T-Mobile's, what's the latest sprint? You get a new iPhone plus service for 35 bucks per month? Oh, there you go. And you know why? <laughs> Do you know why it's so cheap? Go look at your terms and services update, motherfucker. Ah, uh, Jesus. They're cutting everybody out. You don't have to worry about Facebook and Google and fucking you name it selling you out they're selling you out from the beginning period from the time T-Mobile locks into a tower you're sold out you're done they're fucking pimping you it's fucking disgusting there's nothing you can do about it there's no sub network there's no uh, even if you put encryption on it it's decrypted because it goes right back into the tower the tower oh fuck there is no cure for this cancer whatsoever you just <sighs> the only thing you can do is not have a cell phone. If you don't want a cell phone, then you might be safe. I could just see the fucking cable companies falling suit right right behind now, because they already proved it. It's and even if the it's tell, uh, even if the fucking cable companies don't do what they're doing with the cellular networks. The goddamn satellite providers are going to do it. Because that's the most costing of them. Why do you think the uh, satellite cellular service is more, more than giving to us? Oh, sure, yeah. That sounds brilliant. Yeah, well, four more ways to make money. Shit, we're all over this. Here's a billion dollars. Uh, really? Uh, cool. Not, no. No, thank you. Mm, yeah, it was too easy. You could see now that the uh, first quarter of the year is out of the way, since they have to do things for their investors, they have to come out of, come uh, up with the uh, numbers within the next. Well, they have to do it 15 days into this quarter. So today's day two, and also today's the end of Google Plus. So rest in peace, Google Plus. I'm fighting with one account. It's 157 gigabytes. I just found an additional nine gigabytes. I have 1,400 accounts. You don't think I'm gonna make it? <sighs> Anyways, that's about it for now. Cry me a river. Play that. There. Play Cry me a river, and then you might uh, get a little piece of it. I didn't see a way around that cellular problem currently um, there is no way around it what you need to do is call your service provider and ask them since now that Google owns all your sub networks what does that do as far as me my protection of data and stuff well uh, I'm glad you asked that um, I would refer you to here or you could talk to legal <laughs> uh, no thanks I know where that's going it's, wow. It's a fucking rainy day for me. As far as we come. God, they're just. <sighs> now they can manipulate every fucking digit, period. From the beginning. Not only that, but now they can sell every fucking thing you do on your device, period. 
if it's attached to a cellular network, if you bought your tablet from a cellular network, which would include Microsoft, because Microsoft has their own cellular network. Oh, this would also include, if you buy a Chromebook, wow, you sold out there just by buying a Chromebook, which is Dell as well, because Dell offers a Chromebook, so I'm sure they're there at the same time. So Dell isn't safe. HP isn't safe either. The only person I see even safe, even think about is Lenovo, but I haven't even looked at that. I like the certain computer that I just bought, but there's nothing there. There's no drive. There's no uh, way to plug into a wired network. Something I missed when I was... I had a fucking cabbie. Cab hanging out outside. I was kind of under pressure. Plus, they pressured me into buying that one laptop, which is 800 bucks. Which I took it right back. Fuck you. He said it was two at the same price. Which they lied to me. Here's a Google commercial. Google's pushing their own shit upon their own shit. I wonder why. Oh, God. It's fucking sad. I made a lot of money with them. I'd love to have it. Um, I... I would have to say that... Uh, I'd have to say that uh, I don't have a solution. This is the first time I don't have a solution. I don't know how to accept this. I can't accept this. We're on hold till Friday, 5 p.m.